Hello everybody, uh, Mr. Grimes here bringing you another video. Uh, in this video we're going to be doing some two-step inequalities. Now the thing about inequalities is we work them all out the same way that we would as if it had an equal sign with it. Okay, So let's just get right to it because th this is... Um, where's my worksheet at? I'm sorry y'all. Um, this is basically the same math that we just got through with with the uh, the uh, two-step equations and multi-step equations. It's basically the same thing. Okay, um, two-step inequality. So let's let's work a couple of problems out. Uh, and like I said, we're going to work them out the same way. We're, we're on example one. But I'm doing number two from the uh, the worksheet that y'all have. So let's do 3m plus 1 is greater than or equal to 16. We're not ready yet to graph over here, but we can show where 0 is. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we realize that this is a two-step. And so just like in the other one, we do PEMDAS. Uh, so we're supposed to do multiply first and then add, but since this is an inequality, we're going to treat it like an equation. We do it backwards. So instead of this first, this second, we will do the adding first and then this second. So instead of adding, we're going to have to do the opposite and subtract. What we do on the left, we do on the right. 1 minus 1. These cancel out because they're 0. This is going to leave us with a negative 3n on the left. It's greater than or equal to 16 minus 1 is 15. Now, you may question why did we not flip here? We never flip on this first step. We're never going to flip there. Okay. So if you add or subtract, you're not going to flip. The only time we flip is with multiplying or dividing because the variable will be attached to the... Uh, the number will be attached to the variable in that case. Okay, So here we are. We got negative 3 and it's multiplying n. So to undo that, we're going to divide. What we do on the left, we do on the right. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is a big old 1, leaving us with an n. 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. So the question is, do we need to flip the inequality? We answer that by asking the other question. Is the number attached to the variable negative? Looking up here, is the number attached to the variable negative? The answer is yes, it is. So yes, we need to flip this from a greater than to a less than. And of course, we keep the equal to part of it as well. Now that we have this, we can graph it. So here we go. Negative 5 is to the left of 0. This will be a closed dot since it's equal to. And since the variable is on the left, the inequality is pointing. And there we go. So we can test things like negative 6 would be something we could test. So negative 3 times negative 6 would give me a positive 18. 18, is that minus? No, that's plus. 18 plus 1 is 19 and 19 is indeed greater than or equal to 16 so it worked okay so what happens if we have a problem like this um, 15 is greater than negative 10 X minus 5 what do we do in this case Okay, it's all weird and it looks weird. Uh, you can either solve it from this, or you can do uh, like I always do. I always like my variable being as far left as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take negative 10x minus 5 and I'm going to put it on the left. I'm going to put 15 on the right. Okay. Now the trick to doing this is since we are changing our positions here. 
we have to think about this inequality symbol here as well. I like to think about this being a, uh, as being an alligator. Okay, we're not going to mess with the alligator. Okay, we don't want him to bite us. We don't want him to eat us, kill us, whatever. Okay, we're not going to mess with him. What we're going to do is we're going to go around him to the other side. Okay, we're swapping around so that whenever we move to the other side, okay, if the alligator is going after 15, when we move to the other side, the alligator is still going after 15 because we're not going to move him. Okay. Um, just remember, I, I think I did this in the past. Uh, it's kind of like we got a, 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 a river here. Okay, we got the alligator and we've got a boat here. Okay, and the alligator is going after uh, this boat. Okay, if we have a person on this side standing looking in this direction, okay, this guy is going to say, all right, the alligator is moving from left to right. But if we move over to this side, and now we're looking at it from this situation. Now we would say that the alligator is moving from right to left. Did we mess with the alligator? The answer is no. He's still going in that direction. We're just looking at it from a different view. It's the same thing here. When we move around, if the gator is going after 15, when we move to the other side, he's still going after the 15 because we're not wanting to get in there with that gator. Okay? So that's just one way to, to kind of look at it. So now, let's cover this up and that way we're not confused anymore. Now that this is the equation, we've got the variable all the way on the left like I like it. Uh, what do we do first? Well, we're going to undo it, uh, addition and subtraction first. So that's subtracting. We're going to add. What we do on the left, we do on the right. That zeroes out, leaving negative 10x on the left. And 15 plus 5 is 20. No need to flip yet because all we've done is add. Now we have to undo this multiplication by dividing. Negative 10 divided by negative 10 is a positive 1. There's the big old 1. 20 divided by negative 10 is negative 2. Now is the time that we ask ourselves, do I need to flip the inequality symbol? Well, is the number attached to the variable a negative. Here it's a negative 10 and when we moved it around it's still negative 10. So is the number attached to the variable negative? Yes it is. So yes we need to flip this inequality. Okay, At this step we're going to flip the inequality. Okay, uh, And we can check answers uh, bigger than negative 2. Uh, 0 would be a good one, right? So if we plug 0 in here Negative 10 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Is 15 bigger than negative 5? Yes, it works. Okay? Now, something that some of y'all may realize here is that from here to here, the inequality flipped. And then it flipped again down here. But I, I want to challenge that, okay? Was this a true flip? Well, notice the gator mouth is open into 15, and it's still open into 15. So looking at it, it looks like it flipped, but it never did. It's still going after the 15. So this right here wasn't a true flip. This was us changing our perspective. And when we changed our perspective, it looked like it flipped. But just like I said, when we change our perception here, okay, the gator is going upstream here. Okay, When we're over here on the left side bank looking at it, he's going right to left. But over here, he's going left to right. So did this flip around? The answer is no. Okay. Once again, I hope that this video has helped you out a little bit with your work. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me. Uh, I try to check my email as much as possible, uh, and some of y'all I need to get back to. But uh, until next time, I will talk to you later, and y'all be safe.